These things here seem to stump quite a few people who are new to INAP. So today we're going to set up a mixer and get these working exactly how they should be. And I'm going to go over the prerequisites to make sure that everything's going to be working fine and the stabilization will go in the right way. So let's get flying. Right, so before we actually even get to the model, we need to get a few things set up correctly on the transmitter, which I've created a video for that, so I'll put a link up in that corner. <laughs> um, so check that out, because if that's wrong, it can mess up everything that we're doing here. We could think we're doing everything right here, when in fact it's not. So check that video out, get that part right first, and then we can head over into iNav. Right, so what you're going to need for this is obviously your model, your flight controller hooked up with your receiver working. As I say, you need the transmitter all set up correctly on the flight controller and you'll need a battery. Obviously, the servos need to be wired in, all that sort of stuff. So let's head into iNav and the first thing that we're going to actually do is have a look on the outputs page because what we will need to make it sure of is this enable motor and servo output is enabled. If that's not enabled, the servos won't work, the motor won't work. So get that switched on. By default, it's switched off as a safety measure, um, just so you can't accidentally fire up the motor when you're not expecting to. Once we flick this switch, we know that it, can, it, is, it has the potential to be live, so we can be a bit more cautious. So make sure that that is selected um, save and reboot and then what we'll do is head over into the mixer screen this is already set up but what I'm going to do is select a flying wing click on load and apply save and reboot so it's all completely from scratch so if we take a quick look at the mixer we will see is we have two servos connected and each servo has stabilized roll and stabilized pitch and the weight for each um, servo so th these are both servo free totals 100 because you want the maximum to be 100% weight so 50 50 equals 100 if this was maybe a plank they're pitch sensitive so you could reduce the pitch down to 40 have a roll on 60 uh, likewise with a forward swept wing they're roll sensitive so you could reduce you could reduce the roll down to 40 and have a pitch at 60 or, or whatever to get it flying nice uh, but for regular swept back flying wings like this we keep it at 50 50 and you'll notice here that on the stabilized roll we have a negative 50 and this is because on the roll axis we need to reverse one of the servos otherwise they'd both just move in the same direction so what we can do now is plug in a battery and we can see what's going on so i'll try and get everything in view here but i don't know how well we're going to do it so i only need this gimbal so what we have is our pitch you can't actually see it very well but on the pitch is actually doing a roll at the moment and the roll is doing a pitch you can see that a bit better so if i roll over to the right it's actually pitching up and roll to the left it's pitching down so what we need to do is actually what i need to do is put it in manual mode that would be better sorry every time you do something on the servo you want to really test it in manual mode in in the um stabilized flight modes it reduces the throw so that's why that wasn't looking so good but so yeah, you can see the roll is controlling the pitch and the pitch is controlling the row roll. So what we need to do is for me to get on the right camera. <laughs> there we go. And what we're going to do is head into the outputs page. And what you'll see down here is the servos themselves. So if I move the uh, gimbal, you can see the mixer is actually um, controlling the outputs here so what we usually find is if you reverse this top one 
it usually fixes everything. So just reverse it, click save. So now if I move the roll, you'll see it's controlling the roll. And if you do the uh, high five test, so let's try and get this right. Go that way, we can see that this one here is coming up, so that's correct. That way, this one's coming up, that's correct. Pitch, that's correct. And pitch down, that's correct. So reversing that servo has actually got everything working perfectly. And in a lot of cases, you'll find that's all you need to do. If not, just try reversing the other servo as the first thing to try. So obviously this is going to be wrong now. But you'll see that the pitch is controlling the uh, the pitch is controlling the pitch and the roll is controlling the roll but they're going in the wrong direction so if I do the high five again if I roll that way you can see the roll is actually backwards and if I pitch the pitch is also backwards so if you get into a situation where neither of these fix it what you can actually do is set this to the position where the pitch is moving in the correct direction so with us it was all correct on that way but what you want to do is just make sure that the pitch is in the correct direction and the roll is roll still but just reversed and if you can get to that situation moving either of these uh, tabs you won't have both selected at the same time you'll only be reversing one at a time but just try and get it so that the pitch is correct but the roll is just backwards which you usually can do and then what we will do is save that head into the mixer and all you then need to do is move this negative value here from this roll and put it onto this roll and that will get the roll and the pitch all working in the correct direction so that's all there really is to to setting up the mixer for a flying wing there's very very few times where you need to mess about with this even more as I say 90% of the time just setting the output and reversing this servo here servo free will get it working 90% of the time if not try reversing that servo if neither of those work reverse the servo that gets the pitch in the correct direction and then just move this negative over to the other stabilized roll and save and reboot and it will all be good that will get all your control surfaces working in the correct direction after that it's just sorting out the stabilization which the stabilization is actually nothing really to do with a mixer it's making sure that your board orientation is the right way uh, if i go to setup i can just give you a brief overview but i have got another video on how to set up the board orientation so on my flight controller here the arrow is actually pointing the right way so i didn't really need to do anything for this so if i reset the axis you can see your nose down nose goes down nose up nose goes up i know i'm doing it backwards but it's all in the correct direction that is more important for the stabilization than the mixer obviously the, if the mixer is wrong it's not going to help it's really not going to help but to get the stabilization right this part here needs to be right but that is how to set up a flying wing mixer in iNav so you can see it's once you get used to it it's really not complicated and nine as i say 90 percent of the time just reversing that one servo will get everything working correctly and if you have your pre the prerequisites done so getting the transmitter set up correctly getting the um board orientation which i'll show you where it is it's just you need to change this your angle for most of the time if you haven't got the arrow pointing forward but um I, as i say board orientation is in another video but if you have all that correct then you'll have no issues getting this working whatsoever so if you found it useful please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please consider it both of those will help get this video out to more people and help them get their mixers set up correctly for a wing and i nav too so thank you guys for watching. Fly your models like you stole them. See you on the next one. Bye bye.